looks like we made it through another start to finish process. I really hope you enjoyed that one. Before we get into the, you know, um, logistics of, of talking through everything for you, I'm going to just go ahead and bring this up to the camera so you can kind of get a more close up view of what was done. Okay, bring it down here. And then I'll turn it over. The back is just plain, but I mean I covered the back with paper. Okay, so this particular uh, piece I saw at Hobby Lobby in their home decor section, and I liked it because it had this really nice big section here, um, you know, that I could decorate on, of course, and it kind of was on a little pedestal, so I like that option. You can kind of see some of the shimmer in here. I'll just kind of address that right away. Once the whole project was done, I have this clear shimmer spray, and I just kind of sprayed it over the whole thing front and back. You can kind of see it shimmering on that black there, because the black was just a little bit too flat for me, and I wanted to just give it a little bit of something. Um, so like I said, I found this at Hobby Lobby. It had like a little wood piece in the center of it. I pried that off, um, just did that off camera. You know, I can save it to use on something else. And then I painted it with uh, Prima Heavy Black Gesso. I kind of did my usual with a pounce brush and pounced it up and down. Um, and then heat set it in between coats. You can get this really great texture on there. Um, let me bring this up, see on this side, if you can see that texture a little bit better. Can you see that? Te there we go. Now you can kind of see that texture in there. Instead of just flat brushing with a paintbrush or foam uh, brush, if you use the foam pouncy brush and pounce up and down, then heat set it in between about two or three layers, you get this really tiny, tiny texture on there that looks really nice, I think. Um, so some papers that I use, the main paper line that I use right up front is from Prima, one of their uh, releases Love Story by Frank Garcia. Renee carries that 12 by 12 collection in her shop. Um, the other papers I used was just my my stash. Um, I had a um, double-sided cardstock and then I had some other uh, textured cardstock from Momento. I think I got at Tuesday morning and that's kind of this black and then this black layer on the back. This one here, just a textured cardstock there. Um, and what I want to do when I originally started this project is I really wanted to create some fun texture by rolling the paper. I hadn't done that in quite a long time and I just thought with just building so much on top um, it would just be a neat little you know added element to the project itself. Self. So what I started with is I, you know, and obviously, let me back up a minute. I'm always trying to think two or three steps ahead so I don't miss anything for you guys. And sometimes in that process, I kind of flub up my lines. Um, uh, what I did is after I had painted everything with gesso off camera, I traced um, this shape onto some copy paper. And then, of course, I got my first shape and then um, got of the first paper and then I just cut down the edges the straight edges about a quarter of an inch so that allowed me to bring it down and allow you to see about a quarter inch of the frame itself and then my next sheet of paper because I started out with tracing all of them the exact same size and then on each sheet of paper just on the straight edge I cut it down about a well, it might have been more about an eighth of an inch um, each one and so that allowed as I layer them for you to just see a tiny little piece a tiny little edge of each sheet of paper okay and then I sewed around the perimeters of all of them like I usually do distress the edges with the Prima distress tool uh, like I usually do which is this tool right here it's got like a little kind of blade here in the center and you distress the edges with it for those of you that might not know you can also do the same thing with your scissors um, take the edge of your scissors and lay it on paper. Let me grab this. I've got my notes over here. Um, and you just like, just side of the paper like this and it'll roughen the paper. Okay, so just like that. Okay, do the same thing with scissors. Okay, blow off my dust. Okay, and then 
I showed you, I didn't do it on camera, but you know, after I had traced everything off and, and cut it all out, these two top pieces of paper about halfway down um, on this right side, I cut about a three inch slit right down the center of it, okay? And then when I sewed my papers, I sewed around the slit coming around it. Then you saw me on camera take those papers and I sprayed them with just water out of a spray bottle. Then I used like the end of a paintbrush, the handle of a paintbrush, and I rolled it up. And then I took my heat tool and I set that. Um, and by doing that, it just makes these really super stiff rolls that just are not even going to budge. And it's a really cool um, accent to do and to give really great texture and I just hadn't done that like I said in a long time so I just wanted to kind of bring that out again um, I thought it would look really cute on this particular piece so that was kind of my paper line oh, I had another little paper from my stash I kind of tucked in there a little bit of brown right in here just a little square just so that was also peeking out and kind of help bring up some of the brown tones of of some of the flowers and the chipboard pieces and stuff like that Okay, so I had laid down my first piece of cardstock, which was the pink, and then I laid in some of this really pretty lace from Renee Bouquet's, this really pretty uh, pink lace, and it's called Sheer Romance. I've got the piece right here. Um, she has this uh, design in a couple of colors. So this is the really pretty pink one, Sheer Romance. All right, just really dainty and feminine. It's really pretty. I just kind of wanted to get a chance to use it. Okay, then I laid my other two pieces, three pieces of uh, paper on top. So we'll start kind of down this left edge. You saw me kind of cut in half uh, a brick wall element. This is from Nabo K's beautiful board brick wall element. So I laid half here and I laid half over here and I left some of the um, negatives inside of the brick wall uh, so that, you know, I could glue to it and not have my glue be seen. So I left some of those little negatives inside, as you can see right here. See, so I didn't punch all the negatives out. And plus, if you wanted to, you could use those negatives totally on another project. And then I came over here on this left side, and I might be kind of going out of order, but we're going to start on this left side and kind of move to the right. I laid down some flowers, all from Renee's shop here. These uh, first two big ones that I had laid down are from uh, Prima Marketing Amelia Rose collection and the package uh, the design was called Love and Luck those particular flowers and then I laid down this beautiful beautiful large mulberry flower this is from Renee's shop as well it's the soft pink rose and gardenias okay soft pink because she's got some different uh, shades of pink in there and then I laid this one in here um, it's white with like a pink center that's also from Renee's shop and it's basically the mini pink and ivory sorry not white but ivory mini pink and ivory flowers and I laid them over here I'll just move down here and show you a couple of them a little bit more up close see how it's like ivory on the outside and pink centers so laid some down and then I laid some over here of course as well and we'll get to that so those are all from Renee's shop um, I laid over the top of it when I was at Hobby Lobby, uh, you know, in that, in that little um, mini dollhouse furniture section that they have. I bought some wooden shutters, and um, I just bought one package, just try them out, because I kind of wanted some window shutters. Um, and I did the same technique as with the black gesso, only with the Prima white gesso on top of it. I pounced it up and down with the brush. Uh, give it some texture and I kind of laid that on top of the flowers and then on top of that I laid like a little uh, crochet doily from my stash okay and let's see I know out of order but we'll be working to it on top of that this is just a Tim Holtz chipboard um, piece and it says listen to your heart on there okay underneath this section here I laid a frame down. My cousin gave me these frames and I don't know where she got them. She gave me um, a square one and an oval one. They're just black frames. Okay, so I laid the square one down underneath that to kind of bring everything up. I wanted to bring it up a little bit because of the rolls of this paper. I wanted it to all kind of, um, you know, correlate together. So I laid that down. Um, I laid this 
Prima uh, resin clock on there. These are quite a few years old. This is from my stash. I think it's my last one. Laid that down right on top of there. I laid down this beautiful board frame here. This is from Renee's shop. This is the chain link frame. There are two versions. They come in a set of two or a set of three. The set of two um, all both packages have different sizes in each set, but the set of two has a larger chain link uh, design to it, and then the set of three has a smaller chain link design to it. And this is the smallest of the set of three in there. So I laid that kind of on top of there. Um, laid down some ephemera from my stash right here. Hard to see, but that's what that is. Laid that down. This is another beautiful board piece from Renee's shop. This is just a quilling flourish. They come in a set of four. I love these because I am a sucker for curly cues. And I pretty much, I think I try to put them on every project because I just love the femininity and the swirls of this. It's just so just fanciful and kind of romantic looking to me so um, laid that down laid down this really super cute kind of puffy heart trim that's just from my stash um, let's go back over this way on top of the resin clock I laid down these beautiful board feathers okay now these feathers Renee has different um, versions in her shop you can buy just the feathers okay they come in different sizes or the ones that I use came out of a kit and the kit came with these feathers and these really cute kind of little flowers that I tucked in here and I tucked one down in here and I tucked one right over here these little flowers and they came in this set and this set is called the Luna Dreamcatcher Pattern Set, okay? Get everything out. So it comes with four feathers, okay? So I've got two on my project, two more feathers here. It comes with kind of this Dreamcatcher, and I love it with the moon shape in there. And then you also kind of get the negative of that moon shape. And then it comes with four of these little neat flowers. And I broke it apart, of course, because that's the way to use it and to make it go a little farther. But if you don't want all of this and you just want, like, the feathers, you can certainly do that. But that's what I got my feathers and little flowers out of the Luna Dreamcatcher pattern set. And I've got the small size, I believe. But there's, like, a small and uh, medium other sizes, of course. Okay, so that's where I got my feathers out of. So I laid that on top of that little Prima resin clock there. And then on top of that, I glued this cool little like door handle. I got those also at Hobby Lobby. And they were in the scrapbook section in that um, area that's got like all the raw wood. And it came with two of them and they were only $1.99. So that's where I got those. I bought a couple packages of them, and I laid that in there. Love door knockers again. That's another thing I'm a sucker for, so love that kind of door knocker element there. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, and so then let's go back over to this left side. On the side of the flowers, it was probably kind of hard to see. I laid down this other little beautiful board element. Okay, it's just kind of poking out a little bit. I wanted it to kind of be poking out because this was kind of poking out the side a little bit. And so let me grab that for you. Now these are called, it's from the April and Paris line. You guys have heard me talk about that. And if you haven't, there's a sweet new line that Renee has put out called April and Paris. She's also put out another line. But um, I'm not going to share that with you till my next project because it's a new pieces and I want to be able to show them to you. So this is the April and Paris line. Um, and these are the adornments patterns. Now I have a bunch of them here. I think they come in a set of like 15. But see, there's like, they're adornments. So it's the April and Paris adornments pattern set of 15. So there's like little corners. I used, uh, oh, there's these little pieces, okay, um, they come in different sizes, of course. I used one like this, it's kind of just a little side flourish. Uh, I want to show you the 
and let me see there's that oh there's like this piece so this is just this is a huge piece this was the uh, this is a little bit different so I've got a couple different sizes here okay then the corner pieces love these these are just really really cool and a couple of the pieces like I used on the side of the flowers this one's a little bit different still not as uh, just a little bit less see a little bit different in design so these all come like I said different sizes in a set of 15 so these are going to go a long way and look totally cool just poking out um, of a, of a um, design if you wanted to do something like that or those corner pieces you could totally lay it around like a frame really cool and it's from the April and Paris line okay kind of wanted to show you that so that's what I've got kind of peeking out of here just a tiny little bit I also tucked in some of the beautiful board printed board the cherry blossoms these are called tuck it in cherry blossoms I tucked in one here I tucked in one over here tucked in one over here love these they are just super cool and they're all these bits and pieces that you can tuck in she also makes like a frame it's a round frame of cherry blossoms these come in different sizes these ones are the little bit larger size single-sided printing very vibrant very beautiful cherry blossoms wonderful tucking in and around your projects just love these and you get quite a few in the set okay so that's what those are I kind of tuck those around in my project um, and then I place this cute little cherub isn't that adorable and this is the small size these are the beautiful board printed vintage cherubs I believe let me double check my notes over here okay yes yeah, so a set of two vintage cherubs now this one is the girl see she's all in pink and cute and then this one's the boy isn't that adorable and these are the size small you can see how tiny it is in my hand super cute super cute and the little girls holding a little ring of flowers super cute so we've got the boy and the girls set of two small vintage cherubs really sweet just love the vibrancy I love the vibrancy of Renee's uh, beautiful board printed board just gorgeous coloring just I, I can't say enough about it can't say enough about a beautiful board all the intricate cuts and details I'm always telling you guys about that because when I uh, really admire and like the quality of a product I want you to understand that so a lot of times I repeat myself a lot because I, I just want you to know you will not be disappointed in any product that comes from Renee Bouquets so that's the set of two vintage cherubs um, let's see let's kind of move across let's see I think I got everything on this side we'll come back to a couple of little elements so down on this right side this is a chiffon flower that comes from a nice shop now this is one of the khaki flowers they come in a set of three however this particular one uh, the set I ordered it's called the neutral set and it comes with a white flower an ivory flower and a khaki colored flower but you can just get these in a set of three khaki ones of course or a set of white or a set of ivory but she's got quite a few sets that have mixed colors in it that make it really nice um, and I just love this because it's just a really beautiful just kind of light light uh, khaki color it's just really pretty um, so underneath that kind of in the fold of those uh, rolls that I made I tucked in those um, flowers from Renee's shop those pink and ivory flowers in there tucked in that cherry blossom I told you about I tucked in a chipboard piece this comes from uh, Prima marketing the Rosie Bell chipboard collection that Renee carries in her shop so I kind of tucked that in underneath those flowers and stuff okay um, then as we come down to the bottom I did I wanted to do a little something and kind of bring it down to the bottom of the pedestal of course so I tucked in another one of those chipboard pieces from the Rosie Bell collection I tucked in a beautiful board clock hand from Renee's shop these are in medium she has them in small medium large and extra large uh, and I love to just tuck a single one here and there I just think that's really fun on top of that is this great big three layer flower 
flower applique that came from Renee's shop as well. Um, these come in two colors, um, which I believe is the rose, dusty rose, dusty mauve, and the white. And you can order them either two, let's just say pink for that sake, two of either the pink, which I believe is more of a rose color, um, two of the white or one of each color. And this is the three layer one. She also has two layer uh flower appliques in her shop as well. This is another piece from the Rosie Bell collection, another one down here underneath that. I tucked a few more of those pink and white mulberry flowers in there. Uh, I told you about this, came from that um, Luna Dream set. This is just a little white frame, metal frame that came from my stash. And then Let's go in on the butterflies, this cute little tiny butterfly. It's the Magical Miniatures Butterfly. Um, they're double-sided. You can see how teeny, teeny, tiny it is. I love these cute little Magical Miniature Butterflies. Now, these are called My Romantic Heart. So they come in a set with pink ones and purple ones in the same set. And like I said, double-sided, tiny. They're just great to kind of tuck in areas. This tiny treasures butterfly over here, this is called the sweetheart butterfly. There's different sweetheart butterflies in this uh, collection, but these ones are in the pink, but there's different ones. They're all called sweetheart, but they'll be like sweetheart pink or sweetheart, you know, blue or sweetheart, you know, whatever colors that uh, Renee has all in her shop, these happen to be the pink ones. And I love the detailing on these. You can see all the things that are glittering and stuff on it. I didn't do that. That's the way they come from Renee's shop, all the glitter glass on it. And I love the sweetheart detailing because there is indeed a tiny little heart right there um, above my fingernail there, a little heart detail right there. And in this other tiny treasures butterfly over here, this is called the sweet pea butterfly. And this one is in pink. And again, the same with all the kind of sweet bee collections of tiny treasures. There's a sweet pea in the green and a sweet bee in a blue and a sweet you know in the different shades so this one is, happens to be in the pink and the whole thing is like in glitter glass with little pearl details you get to pick your antenna colors on your butterflies there's just a lot to these Renee prints all of her butterflies on premium paper that she manufactures in-house just like her beautiful board it's a really really thick quality paper thicker than like cardstock um, it's holds its shape well. You can actually add me mixed media and stuff to them. The ink won't run, anything like that. So they are very durable and very lovely in quality. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to say, okay. So the last little bits of things I did. So I've got little hearts all around um, my project here. Little heart here. These are the beautiful boards beautiful bits. They're tiny little hearts. They're called shabby hearts. And Renee has lots of different um, beautiful bits in her shop. There's the beautiful bits, the little shabby hearts. There's beautiful bits, moons and stars, all sorts. And they are just, as you see, just tiny little things. And they're so cute, just kind of scattered around on your projects. So I added some of those around the project. Um, and then I also kind of off camera, I went in with some sequins and I placed some little sequins. There you can kind of just see that shimmering a little bit. Just a few here and there, just to add a little bit more texture. A little bit of sequins coming around. I've got some down here on this uh, brick wall element here, this beautiful board. And then also off camera, I added Renee Bouquet's Glitter Glass in Diamond Shade. You see me do it a number of times. I take a paintbrush, I dip it into uh, this Prima 3D Matte Gel, okay, um, which is from my stash. Um, and I brush it on to where I want it, and then I pour on like the glitter glass, okay? Now, um, let me show you this glitter glass. <laughs> I When I pulled it out, I was like, darn it, it's got um, microbeads inside of it. When I used it, I didn't clean my pan out good enough, my little drip pan, and I had microbeads in it, some Renee Bouquet's microbeads in there. Um, and so I was like, darn it. And I'm like, you know what? That's actually kind of cool. So when I poured it on, I'm like, 
great now I don't have to pour in microbeads so when I poured it on it came in with some of the teeny tiny little microbeads on it as well I don't know if you can uh, see just little hints of gold there but it had little teeny tiny microbeads you could probably see it down here a little bit I'm trying to see in my camera too I'm not sure but there's little tiny flecks of gold microbeads where it didn't clean out very well here you might be able to see it in here a little bit little gold microbeads so it's kind of you know it's like darn it and it was like oh wait that's kind of cool so uh, put the microbeads uh, or the glitter glass and microbeads mixed in there. Renee has a lot of different microbeads in her shop, a lot of different colors. It's in with kind of the glitter glass section, so be sure to check those out. I'm sure there'll be colors that you like. And then I also did the same technique, but that I used Prima with a 3D matte gel, and I poured on some Prima uh, mini art stones. Those are just for my stash. So I kind of poured those in and around, a little bit down in here, kind of brought it down to here to kind of bring this section, this section kind of bring it together. So kind of made those mini art stones and stuff kind of hooked together added some up here really cute see how the glitter glass from Renee's butterfly and then I just poured on some of those mini art stones kind of right on top would look super cute even with micro beads and just add a little bit more texture on there looks really sweet okay so I think I got everything I hope I didn't miss anything like I said I hope you enjoyed this project um, I will have pictures on my blog as well as Renee Bouquet's blog and then there will be uh, product links to all the uh, things that I use from Renee's shop on this project. Okay, um, there will be links down below to everything Renee Bouquet's as usual so um, come follow the blog, come like uh, Renee's shop on Facebook, she has monthly challenges and swaps and all sorts of things going on on there that some of our design team members uh, handle. Um, link to Renee's Etsy shop, Renee's.com shop, and then there will be a link as well to my Pinterest if you'd like to follow me on there as well as my blog. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Please leave a comment down below. You know I love to read them. Give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Come join me on this crafting endeavor. Love to have you along with me. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.